I like smoothies, and I want to give everyone smoothies, because who in their normal mind doesn't like smoothies, right? Like, you'd have to be stupid to not like them. But look, I have a real, tangible point to where this comes to wanting a better generation. It is just a personal complaint with my current situation that I want your help with. But your help will be something that does help build a better world. Or at least I believe so. But stay till the end to hear how you can do that. But first, let me set the groundwork here. It's a hot day outside. You know, it's summer. But someone has a fire outside and this air smells like smoke so I can't turn on my AC because I don't want my place to smell like smoke. My lungs are already screwed up as it goes and I don't need to fuel that fire to set my due date any closer than it already is. And so, here I was just taking a walk around my two inches of square foot in my crib complaining to myself and the world for it being so stinking hot. I was waiting for my two water bottles that I just prepared to at some point become cold enough for me to be happy while drinking that succulent cold taste of good old water. But... Then my mind just started wandering around with hunger in the precipice. Bread, chicken, steak, soup, fruit, drinks, and then I got to smoothies. And lord let me tell you how much me thinking about smoothies screwed up my day. Cause I just started down the road of smoothies and just kept on going. Blueberries, cherries, bananas, kiwi, mango, or orange juice some oat milk because I'm lactose intolerant, or just some regular milk and just say au revoir to my toilet later, some yogurt and then ice and just blend that all together with some ice and drink slash eat that delicious drink as I contemplate how happy I feel while drinking just a good old smoothie. But then it hit me. I don't have the money for a blender. And in this economy, I don't have the purchasing power for that fruit, cause I'm a young and gotta save that money for the future so that I might be able to own a house. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Uh, maybe next lifetime. Uh, that That is a little too souring for right now. And then I thought, when was the last time I had a smoothie? And the answer is upsettingly about when I was give or take 13, which that is a little unfair because I have had a blended non-alcoholic pina colada when I was 15, but I don't really count that as a smoothie, which a smoothie is healthy, delicious, cold, and something I can enjoy whenever I want because it is a summer drink, a fall drink, and most importantly, a whenever drink. Grandma just kissed the dust? Have a smoothie. Jesus just got crucified? Have a smoothie. Your house just got burnt down? By golly, have a smoothie. Like, I mean, I don't think that a smoothie goes wrong in any occasion. Prove me wrong, because you cannot. But then my mind started wandering more, and I started thinking about how I could make money with the delectable substance of thine smoothie. And I came to the idea of just making smoothie popsicles and then just putting those all in a large cold box and just setting up a stand to sell those said popsicles because who doesn't like a good old smoothie on a hot day? And I mean, I don't want to just enjoy smoothies with me, myself, and nobody else because that is a purposeless existence. I want to share smoothies with everyone to also enjoy the delicious treat that is once again healthy, delicious, and cold. The perfect trifecta for any occasion. But then I snapped back to reality with me standing in the doorway as I waited for my bottled water to become chilled. I opened up the freezer door and touched the bottle and it was still lukewarm. Like. Come on already, I'm melting away with a headache on the riots, like just freeze for darn sake. But then I did what I always do when I'm hungry, cause after thinking about smoothies I got my stomach all riled up and frustrated that I didn't have this delectable smoothie yet. So I opened up the fridge door, like always, 
always expecting that whenever I open that door for the thousandth time that one day it'll finally have magical food just appear in it. But nope, just some butter with no bread to go with it, a spot where lemons used to exist before it got used with the chicken that is also not there anymore, and some hot sauce to go with absolutely nothing. Yay, oh joyous times I tell you. But so, I then think of potatoes, cause I still have some, I'm not homeless just yet. I do have some good old potatoes and could take the time to cut them up and cook them, but why would I cook food when I'm not actually hungry? That would just be gluttonous for the sake of gluttony. And I mean honestly, I ate not that long ago. I'm only hungry cause I thought of eating something that was cold and delicious and not just plain old boring water. But as I went, I just closed the fridge and went back to my position in between the doorframe as I contemplated smoothies. And honestly, I came to the conclusion that if it were not for me being a man and wanting to fulfill my purpose of being a protector and provider for my future wife, I could honestly just live my entire life in utter happiness with smoothies forever. Like, set me on an island with a working blender and an endless supply of fruit, and I would never need to make human contact ever again. I'll take a coconut and name him Gerald. Me and Gerald can go bowling down the aisles of standing dragon fruit together. Like, I would... Take a banana and put some blueberries on the upper end of the head to simulate breasts and I would never need a woman for actual pleasure ever again. <sighs> and I would never need human contact ever again as long as I had smoothies to satiate me. But as the song goes, I snap back to reality and realize that I still want a woman in my life and I also still don't have a blender or can afford fruit. But what if smoothie treats could be free? Cause I want free smoothie treats for everyone, not just myself. As I stated, I don't want to live a life of me, myself, and nobody else cause that seems like a purposeless existence to me and that is not one I want to live. I like smoothies, and I also want everyone else to enjoy smoothies. So look, here comes the part where I ask you for your help. But it is for a good reason, or as I stated, at least I believe so. Cause smoothie, you know? But here it is. I'm setting a goal for this channel. If this channel hits 10,000 subscribers, I know, big dreams, before the end of next month, I will set up a free smoothie stand. And here's how I'll do it. I'll make a metric butt ton of frozen smoothie popsicles and just set up a stand with those popsicles in a cold box. And then give away those popsicles for free. Cause I honestly just want everyone to enjoy a good old smoothie treat. That's healthy, delicious, and cold. Cause that to me sounds like a better generation where we live for the community instead of just me, myself, and nobody else type mindset. A better generation is one where we come together to make everybody else's day just a little better. And how I want to do it is by giving away a smoothie treat to those just needing that pinch of happiness in their day. So yeah. If you want this free smoothie treat as much as I do, then please hit that subscribe button to join the better generation where we live with the rules of truth, honesty, critical thinking, reliability, self-control, and consistency with our words and actions. But uh, go with power and knowledge that you are listening to the better generation that we will build. And I encourage you to spread the word of this community to everyone because in this landscape, everyone can benefit from it. And it would be selfish of you to hide it. But you should also sustain that you will leave with the understanding that you will be a better person for being alongside us all. But without further ado, have a good one.